Hey there guys, welcome back to the MyGo YouTube channel. Today we have a light from Horty Bloom. It's called the Solux 650. And unusually, it's not a bar light. It's the first large wattage LED grow light that I've reviewed, which is not a bar or um, quantum board style light. This is a much more compact unit, as you can see here, particularly for 650 watts. It is designed to replace a 1000 watt HPS and have a similar power output, which we'll see soon in the test, if that's true or not. But also, as you can see, um, a similar footprint in terms of size and shape, so that it can replace a HPS, perhaps in a greenhouse setup, where it's not going to block out any more of the, um, the sunlight, which it's supplementing than the HPS it's replacing, uh, and or in a large commercial facility, where you would need to, you need to keep that head height clear for uh, lots of other services to run through. And uh, this would definitely do that job. It's very neat and compact. Let's take a closer look. So it has two LED boards mounted separately. They have big extensive heat sinks, as you can see in the back here. I was running these at 100% for quite a long time. Still running very cool. So lots of cooling power with these extensive cooling fins on the back of each board. On the front cover there is a frame and glass sheeting uh, in front of the LEDs. And they're totally isolated from the environment. They're IP65 rated the fixture is and uh, you got really good protection of the LEDs. You can simply just wipe the, um, the glass screen if you get any dirt and dirt or dust on it. These, each of these boards can be manipulated, can be turned up to 30 degrees from the horizontal to spread the light out uh, wide. If you had these in a raise, you could mount them and then um, tilt and adjust these boards to get the most even distribution of PPFD or PAR across the, uh, the grow area that you have. The, uh, they can also be separated um, and uh, pulled apart by an additional about uh, two inches or 50 centimeters this way. The driver is mounted on the back. It's a single driver. It's a Powerland driver. It's got all the appropriate markings and certifications. And this driver has onboard dimming on the front here. You can adjust from 20 up to 100%. Um, in 20% increments. You've got the uh, RJ ports here for dimming control. So you can um, dim multiple units simultaneously with, uh, by connecting them together. Or in terms of hanging, it's very simple. You've just got these two clips um, front and back. So you only need two hangers to hang it. And you get somewhere around two, two, two and a half meters, about six or eight feet of power cable to, uh, to power up the unit. The LEDs are a mixture of white Samsung LEDs, LM281Bs, really good efficiency LEDs those, and 660 nanometer deep reds by Osram. Overall, I tested the um, spectrum output and it is perfectly suitable from growing all the way from seed to harvest. Uh, a big improvement on um, what you can see here is the comparison between this spectrum output and a HPS output it delivers a much broader range of power and a better mix of blue, green and red where a high proportion of blue is necessary for short and dense growth. This fixture is designed to replace a 1000 watt HPS and a 1000 watt HPS typically covers an area of five foot by five foot, 1.5 by 1.5 meters. And that's what I put it into in terms of the test area. Now our test area has reflective walls. So we've got silver mylar walls all the way around, simulating being in a grow tent. Commercial facilities are not always like that. However, um, in doing a comparison with the HPS, I'll take that into consideration. In terms of hanging height, um, this light needs to be hung fairly high away from the plant canopy or the test area. In this case, I hung a sort of typical distance that a 
thousand watt HPS would be hung or minimum distance, which is two foot or 60 centimeters over the target area. I then used the spot on quantum sensor to measure the power um, on this target area in 100 measurements. It's a row of 10 by a column of 10 um, power measurements to determine the total power output and the light spread from this fixture over a 5 by 5 or 1.5 by 1.5 meter area. The unit consumed 633 watts and produced an average power across the target area of 607 micromoles. This results in a system efficiency, that is the total power reaching the plant canopy divided by the total power consumed of 2.15 micromoles per watt, which is a really good efficiency result, reflecting the quality of the components in the fixture. Now this efficiency of 2.15 is pretty much precisely 50% more efficient than the best efficiency you can get from a 1000 watt double ended system with the, with the high quality reflector which is uh, which peaks at about 1.4 micromoles per watt that's a usable ppf per watt so actually delivered to the plant canopy um, hps and uh, all hid fixtures really tend to um, spray a lot of light around and a lot of light is lost due to reflectance losses and overspill etc so overall, this light has obviously a far superior spectrum to the HPS, which it'll replace. So it can grow all the way from seed to harvest rather than having to, um, in HID case, use metal halide and then HPS combinations to achieve short dense growth in the earlier veg stages. And then the, uh, the um, high efficiency of the HPS bulb to deliver the, um, the yield and the mass and growth in the flowering stages. The efficiency of the light is such that it definitely will give you a good payback versus a HPS over time being 50% more efficient and um, energy cost being what they are these days. And um, yeah, overall a very nice quality um, high performance fixture. Congratulations to Horta Bloom. Um, looking forward to your questions and comments. Please leave them down below and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take care.